Hi, my name is Rudy Candia from Candia Guitars, and I'm here with uh, bass master Dave Parker. Thank you. Dave, thank you for coming over. Yeah. I've been wanting to show you my new bass. Happy to look at it. Well, uh, this is the uh, my new model. I call this the Altessa bass. Those of you that speak Spanish, uh, in Spanish, Altessa means your highness, as in king or queen, or you know, queen in this case. It looks that nice. Well, thank you. Um, one of the things that you'll notice is that uh, there's no lacquer or polyurethane on it. This is, uh, I wanted to go uh, for a natural look on this one, so this is just oiled walnut. I don't have anything against the uh, lacquered and uh, polyurethane guitars, they're beautiful. But for this one, I just wanted to do something different, something that looks natural, to look and feel like something that grew out of the ground. So I tried to keep away from any like sharp edges or corners. Everything is kind of rounded and, and it feels smooth. It feels like, it feels like wood. Uh, for the electronics, I've got uh, Bartolini single coil pickups. These are kind of, uh, they look like humbuckers, but they are actually single coil pickups. It's got an Aguilar preamp in it with a master volume pickup blend. Highs, two band, mid, and then low. Uh, and then for the uh, for the neck, um, I also went with uh, with uh, with walnut and purple heart. As you can see, it's a five piece laminate here. Uh, the fretboard is is purple heart as well. And uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with uh, with purple heart, it's extremely hard wood. So um, I think this is a, a very very strong neck. Um, another thing you'll notice is that uh, it doesn't have a nut. I use a, a zero fret design on it. Um, if you notice, the strings run in a straight line all the way from the bridge to the uh, to the tuner, so there really is no need for uh, for the nut. One of the uh, advantages of the of the zero fret design is that it makes changing string gauges really easy. You don't have to worry about resliding uh, your your, your nut. It's just you know, change strings and and uh, keep on going. Uh, on the back of the neck, there's a couple interesting things here. One is um, on the heel here, um, I try to contour everything so that there's no sharp edges there, so that your hand um, you know, rests comfortably against that. And even this, this face here is not flat. It's kind of contoured so that um, you know, your, the, the palm of your hand kind of feels like it's uh, you know, just holding a, a piece of wood rather than a, than a flat yeah. metallic surface. Uh, another thing is, um, if you notice, uh, the headstock's got a 12 degree tilt to it. Um, and it, it, it kind of looks like it's one piece running all the way through, but it's, it's really not. There's a scarf joint right here to make it a lot stronger. Um, those of you that have been following the news here lately hear a lot about um, headstocks breaking off. Um, this is, a, the, the scarf joint is a much, much stronger design than having a one piece neck there because of the, the, the tilt back. Um, on the, uh, the headstock, that's the only place that I did actually put a finish on it. I went with a black lacquered look on that just to do something different. Normally you don't see uh, natural guitars with, uh, with a lacquer on it, but I really like that. I wanted to do something different and I think the, the black lacquer really makes the gold logo and the gold tuners really pop out. So uh, with that said, now I'm going to make this bass sound really, really good by letting him play. 